If you would just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. Bye. They need to learn face to face. Bye. You want kids to come into your class? You want them to get excited yeah, for this? You, you, you got to come in here. You got to make them excited. You want a kid to change and start doing better? You got to touch his freaking heart. Can't expect the kid to change if all you do is just tell him. When I'm not bitching, but simply making an observation. Okay. Because since I got here, I've done nothing but no. read packets. No. So don't try and take credibility for teaching me jack. Will somebody start shooting already? <laughs> that scholar with the split ends is Jeff. And when he's not clogging drains with that horse tail, he's leading a one-room revolution against uninspiring teachers. <laughs> High school is just like glee. Tons of kids dying of drug overdoses. <laughs> My favorite thing about school is being able to hook up with girls right after their first period. Or their homeroom, whenever. But let's stop calling it school. School is what they have in Asia. What we have is daycare. <laughs> People always say being a teacher is the most thankless job, but I feel like it's the only job we do thank. You get summers off, so eat your free apple and shut the hell up. <laughs> the only teacher that deserves a pile of money is a special ed teacher. They're in constant danger of being assaulted by a 22-year-old in an Angry Birds t-shirt. <laughs> Getting good grades isn't hard. Just Google, copy, paste, adjust the font, fix the margins, the end. Nobody will ever care about your GPA. The only number that matters in life is net worth. I went to UCF. My head writer went to Harvard. Guess who tells who what the f to do? <laughs> By the way, how come we don't let the students stay put in between classes and make the teachers move from room to room? That way there's 10 people trying to get across campus instead of setting loose 700 zit-faced hormone junkies every hour. <laughs> Just brainstorming. But all that stoner Rapunzel wants to do is completely change our nation's education policy from the ground up. And how hard can that be? That's why I flew them to California, where the teachers are the highest paid in the nation, but the students rank 48th in math and 49th in reading for this week's Web Redemption. Rise and shine, give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. The Lord said to Noah, there's gonna be a floody, floody. Lord said to Noah, there's gonna be a floody, floody. Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. Okay. I'm up. Time to learn. I'm so glad the court let me adopt you for one day so I could homeschool you. Qué bien. Otro adolescente en la casa. And that concludes today's Spanish lesson. Idiota. I'm sure that was nicer than it sounded. All right, so normally this is where I would interview you, but I'm a little burned out, so I prepared a packet of questions I would ask you. Question one, do I need to tell my partner if there's blood in my semen? Wrong packet! <laughs> Those are questions from my doctor. And I'd appreciate it if you'd respect my privacy. Now, where are you from? Dallas. Do you like Dallas? Yeah, it's my home. Walk us through what happened that day. I just got in class, and taking a test, finishing it up from the day before, and asked why we didn't get the same amount of time to take the test, and just told me to quit bitching, so I went off. You were finishing up a test that you had already taken the day before? Yeah. So you get to start a test, go home, cheat like crazy, and then come back the next day and finish? If you wanted to, I guess. I don't understand this at all. This teacher's got tons of flaws. Do you know how much teachers get paid? Crap. Do you feel bad for yelling at a poor person? Not that teacher, no. <laughs> Were you a little upset that you said credibility versus credit? So don't try and take credibility for teaching me jack. You should have said take credit. It was almost a perfect speech. Here at the moment. I hear you. <laughs> Why do you point so much when you're talking? Show authority. Something. What subject was that? World history. What's your best subject? World history. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What's your favorite period of history to study? Present. Hmm. What, what's going on now? It doesn't seem like that's history. Well, I mean, the present is history now. Right now, it's past, so. Don't pull your shenanigans with me <laughs> and see through that bullshit. What kind of stereotypes do you get because of your hair? I get the stoner stereotype. You smoke a lot of weed, though? No. Ever smoked weed? No. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite member of the band, Nelson? You lost me there. Oh, <laughs> you'll love him. Do you think you will graduate on time? No, I'm already behind. How far behind are you? Year. Did you skip 
quit. I dropped out. That's worked out so well for so many people. No. <laughs> All right, enough of this chit chat. I think I figured a way to touch your heart. You can't learn history from a book. You have to experience it. We'll be right back. What is that? It's a phone booth. People use these disgusting things before iPhones, but this one's special. Uh, it's from Bill and Ted's bogus journey. I won it bidding on George Carlin's delinquent storage unit. Now put those on. I'm Jeffless Esquire. And I'm Daniel Tosh Logan, and we're about to learn history. Never go back to Equinox. Real funny locking everybody in the sauna, Hitler. He finds that Joe. Can I go home now? Shut the f up, Carl. I can't believe I let such a wimp like you bully me from fourth to sixth grade. Thanks, Hitler. Oh, you won. High five. Out of fight. <laughs> Eve, knock it off. Jeff, we've been traveling through time all day. Tell us what you've learned. Carl. You were Daniel's childhood bully. That's nothing to be proud of. Maybe you should take a second to analyze what's really going on when you do that to people. And an El Camino, that's no car for a 16-year-old anyway. An E. You look amazing for a woman that has to birth the entire planet. Sure, you've got some problem areas. We all do. Beauty is imperfection. <coughs> Door. Fuck, something fell in my throat. <laughs> Hitler, where do I even begin? You're gonna be known as the biggest prick in the history of the world. Is that what you want? Maybe you should sit down and have a couple of conversations with some Jews. Honestly, they're not that bad. Some are really cool. And tell me you don't feel more comfortable in a pair of khaki shorts. Hey, I'm serious. And Michael Jackson, you're gonna be the king of pop one day. But you don't have to be. Have fun being a kid. And you look great as a black kid. Just stay you. Good enough. You get an A. Now take everybody back. Goodbye. Where do you keep getting these apples? Miss you the most, buddy. Not so fast, Jacko. You're better off staying here. What about my brothers? They're dead weight. If you stay, I'll buy you a monkey. Okay. Jeff, safe travels. You too. All right. Be excellent to each other. <laughs> okay. Now sing me Man in the Mirror or you're sleeping in the shed. I don't know that song. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he was having a hard time falling asleep later, so I gave him a little propofol. That's safe, right? <laughs>